What up guys, it's Grant Comics here and today we're going to talk about the comics code. Now before I show you uh, top 10 comics code, what the rules were, I'm going to show you what the comics code is and I'm going to use the Marvel team up number 2 uh, for example. See this little thing right here, this little thing where it says proved by the comics code? That's what, here let me get you a better look. That's what it is right there, a little thing right there. So that's that. So I got a few things, top 10 rules that the Marvel industry or the comic industry had to follow. But before, here's like a few, um, here's like a few histories about it. So it was formed in 1954, but it got uh, passed in 2001. But also Stan Lee, broke the comics code as well when he did an issue of Spider-Man where Harry Osborn was on too many drugs and stuff like that. Um, but DC broke the code in 2011. So, you know, while Marvel broke it way before DC and Archie Comics did, they still broke it in 2011. So that's cool. So now, from 2011 to now, there's no comics code. There's like ratings, like a rated T and stuff like that. But anyways, here's what the comics code was. To uh, the only way you could have a comic for sale is if you had this thing on the on your comics. And here's like a few uh, rules that they had to uh, top ten rules. Okay, so number ten is word horror. Weird and terror weren't were banned from the title, so you cannot, you couldn't have like weird science or the house of terror. You could like you couldn't have that in your title in your comics. You could have like tales of the crypt or um, I don't know, spectacular tales or something like that. I don't know, but you couldn't use those three uh, words back back in the day as a title. Number nine. Um, no victory victorious villains so what that means is the bad guys can't win because it i guess it kind of shows that to the readers and to young readers to kids back then that it shows that being bad is like a good thing it's rewarding when in reality it's not so i guess they were trying to you know keep uh, young readers to like stay away from from you know the villains being the the victors and so the heroes and the heroes dying now now um anything goes you know what i mean with comics you have the good guys winning the bad guys killing off the heroes but at some point um the hero comes back in a couple more issues stuff like that so yeah but back then the villains couldn't be victorious Number eight, <clears throat> no vampires and zombies. So that goes back to the horror theme. Like back then, you, there was rarely, like, in fact, they weren't really, um, like, vampires and zombies back then. I think there was Werewolf by Night, which had the first appearance of Moon Knight. I think there's one of that was one of them. But yeah, you couldn't have vampires and, um, and uh, zombies, which is kind of weird because you can't have, you couldn't have vampires and zombies back then, but you could have Frankenstein and other monsters, which is kind of confusing to me. But anyways, number seven is no crooked cops. Okay, so no crooked cops and no crooked law, which meant, you know, again, being kind of relatable to the supervillains because back then and even now to this day as I'm recording this you know police brutality is bad right now well not right now as this is recorded but it's pretty bad I guess at that time they were against crooked cops and police brutality so they didn't want to show that in their comics which I get it you know you know I get it stuff like that number six no gross images which means no blood no gore no bodies falling ripping apart 
um, that's straightforward. Just like, cause people are getting grossed out, and it's too, like, uh, immature. Too, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Too perplex. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Too realistic, I should say. I don't know. But yeah, no gross images that includes blood, gore, anything that has to do with grossness. Uh, that was banned. If you had it, your comics wouldn't be selling if you had that kind of stuff. And this one I knew for sure. Number five is no sex. So no sexual stuff. No uh, being naked and stuff. So if you want it, if comics wanted to do something like that, they have to be like a silhouette of a naked person. You couldn't really um, have that really like you couldn't have the the uh, females show their you know their breasts or their, their butt or their vjj you know they couldn't do that it's same with guys you know guys in the comics they couldn't show their butt they couldn't show their penis but um and they couldn't do sexual stuff in the comics because again with the whole younger audience thing they couldn't do it they had to they had to stop that um, you know number four no drug use so back before yeah so no drug use on so there wasn't no uh, so you couldn't have panels where the characters or it's part of characters do drugs or you, you could even mention drugs in a panel you couldn't have you couldn't mention drugs you couldn't even have drugs in the background anything to do with drugs you couldn't have um, and that's another thing too what I mentioned Stan Lee broke the comics code in the earlier in a few earlier uh, of my of the top 10 list um, Stan Lee broke that comics code when he wrote um, one of the amazing spider-man comics where Harry Osborne was addicted to heroin or something I think it was heroin or I don't know what kind of drug it was but he broke that comics code from that issue. Now I don't know if Marvel was upset with that or they're okay with that. Either way, at the time, Stanley was already big, so it probably didn't matter. But if it did, that sucked. Um, <coughs> number three um, rule at the time is no offensive language, so no cursing, um, no swearing, no no. Just no cursing in general, and so far, I haven't from the comics I've seen. Maybe because I don't read comics that's mature, like Walking Dead or something like that. I usually read like superhero comics, so the comics I read, I haven't seen uh, the characters. Well, they swore, but it's like censored. I haven't seen an uncensored comic ever that I read of. Most of them, most of them were. Um, uh, censored and only thing I seen in comics was uh, crap or hell that's the only thing I seen that was un that was uncensored I guess because that's not really a swear word to me uh, but yeah you couldn't curse in um, in the comics again because younger audience um, number two is no sexy clothes characters so what that means is um, you couldn't have, again with the no sex thing, you couldn't have characters with lingerie or bikinis or um, any sexual clothes, I guess. So, and you couldn't make the characters too sexy, you know, and that's kind of hard as a kid when you're like reading you kind of have a crush on a character like I had a I have a crush on I'll admit something I have a crush on Spider-Woman the Jessica Drew Spider-Woman and I had a crush on Raven from the Teen Titans and Harley a little bit but um yeah I know that's DC and I'm a Marvel fan but anyways yeah so that um that was that was it and the number one thing I don't have a number one on here on the list but um, anyways yeah that's the top 10 rules that uh, the comics industry had to follow 
the comics code. So, yeah. So, anyways, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right.